Hey guys, this is Michael with Cloud Alien Marketing, and tonight somebody on my list asked me, how do you improve quality score? I guess they've been running some Google traffic and their quality score was not up to par, and he's running a call only campaign. I said, well, what I always do, I just look at my competitor right off the bat, the biggest guys on the block, the big gorillas. These guys are rotor rooter, obviously. They're all over the United States. So what do they do to improve their quality score? Well, just go to their website and take a look. Go to their landing page. So in this case, this is where I live, Orange Park. But uh, take a look at their website. I mean, it's it's all perfectly structured. All the right land or all the right keywords are in here. They do commercial plumbing, residential plumbing. Everything that you can think of is in here with the call to actions right up here on the top. Look at this. Repeated twice is the call now feature, and you can even service online. And then some main bullet points over here. And, you know, their, their slogan up there. And if you scroll down, uh, more information about who they are. And then this is completely search engine optimized where every keyword in there, like clog, drain, cleaning, 24 hours a day, all the stuff is in here. All the triggers that the Google spider is looking for. The Google spider is going to come to your landing page and ensure that all these keywords are on here. Everything looks good. Now, what you're trying to do is I use the Yoast SEO plugin for all my WordPress uh, sites. And what I do is I just make sure I'm green on both sides. If you know, if you use Yoast, you know what I mean. If you don't use Yoast, you might want to download it and take a look. But it's really simple. It's a free plugin that lets you uh, come in here. They have several images. When you Anytime you put an image in here, you want to make sure you're using alt tags uh, with text. And the text has to be the focus keyword that you're using for this landing page. Now let's go ahead and take a look at uh, something I just put together for you guys tonight, just to give you guys an idea. I use Thrive Themes, and let's go ahead and take a look at that now. All right, guys, we are in my uh, Thrive Themes account for a landing page. Now this is obviously not the landing page I'm using, but I, do, I just wanna point some stuff out. As you saw on the Roto-Rooter uh, landing page, there was no video. I like to include video. I like to include plenty of images and so forth. In this case, I just wanted to show you some bullet points here. Uh, you want to have the bullet points, a really cool video, because this shows a Google spider that you're linking out to YouTube, meaning that there's a video that's on your site that tells Google that something of importance, uh, you know, enough to have a video on there is of importance. I just had a, a friend of mine make this recently, and I'll, this has helped me out tremendously, especially when you're looking at this um, on a uh, on a mobile device, so you want to make sure that this is very responsive, and that's why I use Thrive Themes. I mean, it's it is the perfect uh, landing page creator. It takes a little bit of skill, but it's very simple to use. Um, I'll show that to you here in a sec. But let me just scroll down. You can see I, I have some more bullet points, more keywords in here, and you see the images I'm using. Uh, you want to use some good heading tags. These are H2 heading tags. Um, and you want to go ahead and make sure that all this is perfectly SEO'd. And so that when the Google Spider, when you start running traffic, the Google Spider is going to come here and they're going to check to see if all these really cool keywords are on here. You can kind of see, you want to have, make sure you have your privacy policy, your disclaimer. I also recommend putting maybe your address down here uh, or something showing that you are a business, whoever you may be, and you can see the Thrive Think landing page here. But... Uh, it's really simple to create one of these landing pages. You can, you can just um, choose a landing page right off the bat. And there's a Thrive Template Cloud, custom landing pages, default landing pages. And you can just download any of these. There's so many of them that you can, that you can choose from. Now, I, can just, I just chose one and created it really fast. It took me literally about five minutes. It took me longer to find the images, to be honest with you. Uh, but I just wanted to show you how, how this works. It's... I mean, you can pick any of these if you're doing a CPA offer for biz, uh, for, for auto, for example, or, you know, pay per call offer, whatever, or maybe medical uh, finance. I mean, there's all kinds of different ones in here that you can just download. And it's, it's a really good program. Um, so how do you tie this into your tracking system, though? That was another question I asked, that I got asked. Well, this right here is a, uh, an action um, that someone's taking, and when they click on this, they're, t they're being taken to a ring pool. I'll show you how this works here by going over to my Funnel Flux, 
This is my uh, actual funnel that I have in here. This is uh, Ring Partner uh, Plumbing Campaign. And the actual um, ring pool is in here. If you have any questions about ring pools, just take a look at my pre one of my previous videos where I talk about how to uh, put ring pools in here. So let me explain how this works, though. Um, I'm not going to show you my actual landing page, but I will uh, kind of discuss how traffic flows through here. So I'm paying for traffic, say Google traffic, Facebook traffic, uh, Bing traffic, uh, other pay-per-click traffic that is coming through and entering my funnel at this point. Now, they clicked on something that interested them about plumbing, whatever it may be, and they go through here, and I have a retargeting pixel. This retargeting pixel allows me to get the ROI that I need uh, pretty much. It, it's, it's a really good way to, to go out and essentially track people on the Internet. So people come through here, and I have Site Scout, I have Facebook, and I have the Google Display Network. I have three different separate pixels in here that fire off and allows these networks to sh rapidly show my ad. So these people, whoever comes in here that clicked on this pay-per-click ad, they come in here, these three pixels fire, and it goes to my landing page. Now let's say they weren't too interested in my landing page and they just go elsewhere. Maybe they go, the phone rings or something happens and they're like, well, I'll do this later. Well, I get to follow them now around the internet. Wherever they go, I follow them around the internet so that, uh, you know, that, hey, do you still need a plumber? You know, come back to my site or just call this number in all my banners I have. Now, I'm only doing this for mobile devices because I'm only targeting mobile devices. So uh, I've created specific banners only for mobile devices, which I'm not going to share with you here. But uh, these banners are essentially bringing people back either to this landing page or directly to the offer. So when they, when, when they click on it. So... That's just it. I just wanted to show you how all this ties in. Uh, so once again, study your competitor, know what they're doing, take a look at their website, take a look at all their keywords. This is going to improve your quality score with Google tremendously. And in, by improving your quality score, you're going to be driving down that cost per click. And it's going to help you out. You're going to save on ad spend. There's guys that are spending so much money, up to $8, $9, a click on certain keywords where they can only be spending maybe two or three dollars or four dollars per click that's how significant it is from a quality score of say five to a quality score of say eight or nine or ten uh, you can kind of bet your you know your your bottom dollar that that roto rooter uh landing page i showed you earlier has a quality score of probably nine or ten because you know they they that's their business they want to ensure that they have the best quality score when they're running pay-per-click ads because they want cheap traffic. Uh, in order to do that, you know, they're driving that content. Google wants you to have great content, and that great content starts with you creating a great landing page. Now, if you have problems creating a landing page, you can go to Fiverr.com. You can go just about, you know, I would say Freelancer, Fiverr. You can go a lot of different places on the Internet and have people create these landing pages for you. Uh, it's not like you have to learn all this stuff. You can just have it done. You can outsource it. It's going to be more expensive, but it, you know, it'll save you a lot of time trying to figure that out. But I do recommend getting, if you want to get your hands dirty like I do, I've been doing this a long time, I can control just about everything on my landing page. I recommend putting uh, or getting Thrive Themes. So... That's it for now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and um, I'll be creating uh, some more blog posts in the future helping you guys out. Thanks.